We've all been there. You hit submit on that credit card application, visions of travel rewards, and cashback dancing in your head. But then, crickets. Days turn into weeks, and your inbox remains stubbornly empty. Is your application stuck in some bureaucratic black hole? Will you ever know the sweet satisfaction of instant approval? Fear not, credit card warriors. Today, we're diving deep into the world of Chase Sapphire preferred approvals. This travel rewards card is a favorite among points and miles enthusiasts, but the wait for that coveted congratulations email can feel like an eternity. So, how long does it actually take to get approved for the Chase Sapphire preferred? Buckle up, because the answer isn't as straightforward as you might think. The approval maze, instant gratification, or days of waiting. Let's face it, the ideal scenario is a lightning-fast approved notification. You submit your application, a digital confetti cannon explodes on your screen, and you're ready to start swiping your way to travel dreams. For some lucky applicants, this fantasy becomes reality. Chase uses sophisticated algorithms that can analyze your information and deliver an instant decision. But for others, the process takes a bit longer. Your application might enter a state of pending review, leaving you anxiously checking your email every five minutes. Why the wait? Unveiling the mystery. So, what factors can cause a delay in the approval process? Here are the key suspects. Credit history. This is the big one. Chase, like most credit card issuers, prioritizes applicants with a strong credit history. A good credit score, generally considered to be in the mid-700s and above, and a track record of responsible credit card use will significantly improve your chances of a quick approval. Application complexity. Did you answer every question meticulously, or did you rush through the process? Incomplete or inaccurate information can raise red flags and trigger a manual review, extending your wait time. Recent credit inquiries. Have you applied for multiple credit cards recently? This can make Chase hesitant, as it suggests you might be taking on too much debt. Ideally, space out your credit card applications by at least a few months. Existing relationship with Chase. Do you already have a Chase checking account or another credit card? Having a positive history with Chase can work in your favor. The waiting game. How long should you expect? While we can't predict the future, although wouldn't that be nice? Here's a general timeline for Chase Sapphire preferred approvals. Instant approval. This credit card application nirvana can happen in as little as a few minutes. Consider yourself lucky. 7 to 10 business days. This is a common time frame for applications that require further review. 14 business days, or more if you haven't heard back within two weeks, it's a good idea to follow up with Chase directly. They can provide an update on your application status. Beyond the wait. Tips for a smoother approval process. Here are some battle-tested strategies to increase your chances of a Swift Chase Sapphire preferred approval. Check your credit score. Before applying, obtain a copy of your credit report and ensure your score is in good standing. You can address any errors or discrepancies beforehand. Apply strategically. Avoid applying for multiple credit cards in a short period. Gather information. Have all your financial details readily available when you fill out the application. Be truthful. Don't embellish your income or employment history. Honesty is always the best policy. Consider reconsideration. If your application is denied, don't despair. You can request a reconsideration by calling Chase directly and explaining any mitigating factors. The final verdict. Patience is a virtue, but checking your status doesn't hurt. The wait for a Chase Sapphire preferred approval can range from an instant yes to a more suspenseful review period. By understanding the factors influencing the process and taking steps to optimize your application, you can increase your odds of a speedy decision. Remember, patience is key, but don't be afraid to follow up with Chase if the wait seems excessive. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, happy credit card hunting.